Thank you Typology for sponsoring this portion of today's video. If you don't know who Typology is, they are a top selling French skincare brand created in Paris. All of their products are 100% vegan and cruelty free. I personally love that they are simple, minimalist, and environmentally friendly. I've been using their skincare products now for the last few months and I just wanted to share my honest experience thus far. Let me just say, my morning routine has been transformed since I decided to take Typology's free skin diagnostic test that provides you with a personalized skincare routine based on your unique skin. It's quick and easy, only takes about four minutes to complete, and you can retake it several times per year as your skin changes. Double cleansing has truly changed my life. I used to only do this as part of my night routine, afraid that it would dry out my skin, but this seven ingredient cleansing oil is 99% naturally derived and works so well with my sensitive skin that I can use it to double cleanse both morning and night. And since it is fragrance free, it's perfect for my sensitive skin and leaves my skin feeling soft and hydrated. I have naturally dry skin and I have lived with eczema for as long as I can remember. So I have to really focus on hydration. Sometimes with sensitive skin, it can be so difficult to know what product will work well together on my skin and the skin diagnostic test really simplified it for me. I honestly feel like my morning and night routine leave my skin feeling so hydrated, smooth, and supple now. I have to say another one of my favorites is the Nourishing Moisturizer. I think the combination of the hyaluronic acid and the shea butter makes this moisturizer just feel so creamy and hydrating on my skin. The texture itself also just feels super creamy and thick, and my skin just eats it right up in the best way. If you want to try out Typology for yourself, make sure to use my link in the description below. When you spend a minimum of $40, you get a free radiance mask with yellow clay and organic turmeric. Thank you once again, Typology, for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Hey friends, happy Sunday. If you're new here, my name is Selena. We're gonna do a little bit of a Sunday reset today. Yesterday was more of a relaxing day and I vlogged that as part of my healing diaries to catch up. So if you guys haven't seen that video yet, make sure you go and watch that. We have to reset for the week. Getting my life back on track and prepared for the week. only gotten two things off of TikTok shop and I've loved them both so I have to share the first thing is this wonder skin lip stain this thing is amazing okay I'm gonna show you guys how it works real quick because you can either just like put it very thick on your whole lips and that'll get you the longest lasting stain for the entire day or like I do it I try to do it lightly but then on my outer corners I do it a bit longer but I'm still trying to figure out like how much time but I know for a fact that I do love this product and I, I love how it works I'm gonna wipe this off and I I would honestly take like a makeup wipe or something and wipe your lips first or exfoliate them but I find that just wiping them off thoroughly before applying the lip stain applies it pretty well. So now we're gonna apply the lip stain. So that is kind of how it looks. I think I left it on a little bit too long but it does kind of like wear off or like lighten up the more times that you know you eat and do things throughout the day so I would say this pretty much lasts you all day but if you want it to look this dark the whole day then one other time throughout the day like eight hours later you'll have to lightly reapply and wipe off but I think it's so worth it because you don't have to reapply multiple times per day So first I think we're gonna head to brunch to have our little brunch date because I noticed like all of our dates have been dinner dates or like outings and stuff dates and I'll be paying which again we're like alternating who pays and who plans for the day each week that way we're not like having to split our meals 50 50 too much to like pay each other back for every little thing so it's just better when one of us takes responsibility for one of the dates and then the other one takes responsibility for the other date and yeah that's what works for us that's what we're doing right now at least oh my gosh this is so good I made French press coffee in yesterday's vlog and I had some left over and it like sat overnight and now it's nice and strong so it's kind of like a cold brew but I'm having it hot so not really we also need to go to Home Depot today to get stuff for the house we don't even have like folding chairs or a folding table so we'll see if we maybe get one today we're headed to brunch I'm so excited do you know what you're gonna get 
Nope. Uh, probably eggs benedict, if anything. Yeah. Or omelette. Guys, or something. it's so funny. I literally asked David to go back into the house to get my tapatio because these places, I mean, I love their food, but it's like a French place. They never have any hot sauce. Their hot sauce tastes like a, like a dressing. So I had to bring my own this time. If you know, you know. What the heck? What? Look who it is. Wait, that's so funny. I didn't know you were going to be here. Look at these cute little knickknacks. I love these little organic cutting boards. How cute. <gasps> Do you see this calendar? Look how pretty. This is so pretty. It reminds me of my friend Nadia because she knows how to watercolor. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. It is cool. The bluebirds be supposed to sing along That I love you So we made it to Costco and we found the folding table. I think we're gonna get one because look at this. $60 is not bad at all. Okay baby, load it onto the cart. Guys, check this out. If you're looking for some kitchen and pantry storage bins, this one comes with 18 pieces. I'm not quite ready to like make the buy today because I don't even know how to organize my fridge yet. But if I were, this is where I would come. Guys, if the gym setup was ready, we would literally get this because it has everything. Costco's on a Sunday are so busy. Okay, we gotta find the cheese. I think this is gonna be the right aisle for it. I think large. Without fail, every time we come to Costco, David wants to shop. This is my therapy. Retail therapy. <laughs> We made it to Walmart and now we're getting all of the party supplies. We have some snacks and paper plates. Hopefully they have decorations and we also want to see if they have any folding chairs, like the cost of everything to compare it to Amazon. So we're back from Costco and Walmart and it's already 4.30 p.m. We've been really productive today, but we're both really tired. Like shopping and having to prepare for the week and also in making all these decisions was just a lot. This is why I like to online shop because it's just quicker, more convenient. I haven't cleaned the fridge ever since we bought it back when we first moved in, which was around the beginning of November. So I want to clean that out. We have all of the groceries here and I'm gonna do a little grocery haul, but first I'm just gonna like take everything out and wipe it down and clean it. Do a little fridge deep clean. So let's do that. So the fridge is cleared out. It honestly does not look that bad. So this is a good time to clean it. It's been about two months since I got this fridge. So I'm just gonna take a microfiber towel, some Dawn dish soap spray, and I'll wipe it all down. And then also this is a great opportunity to get rid of anything that's expired or almost out or that we're not gonna use and just clear out the fridge and reset for the week and honestly for the month ahead. Okay, actually change of plans. All of my microfiber towels that I use for cleaning are dirty because I've been cleaning like pretty daily, like wiping down the counters and everything. I would usually use a microfiber towel because it's reusable but right now I'm gonna have to use paper towels don't come for me but I'm not gonna not clean today just because the towels aren't ready so I've done like a deep clean before where I take everything out of the fridge and I hand wash it but because it's a new fridge and honestly just two people living here luckily we haven't had any spills and it's really not that dirty and I honestly think if you keep up with like your deep cleans like deep clean your fridge every one to two months we'll see that's my theory right now first I'm going to vacuum the fridge this is cool check this out 
it actually lights up and right now it's on medium oh, i'm gonna set it on eco so that it lasts the longest battery life wise but yeah this has been one of the best investments i think we've made on the house besides this fridge love this fridge I finished vacuuming the crevices, like I said. The Dyson's honestly the best, but now I'm just gonna spray everything and wipe it down. just finished wiping out and cleaning out the entire fridge so now I'm just gonna put in the tray like the flex bar and then just start filling it with all of the food literally have all these sauces from like takeout and stuff that we didn't use but I'm saving these because it's sriracha and soy sauce which doesn't really go bad very quickly Let's do a haul of everything we got from Costco and Walmart so I can put everything away. So we got two of these sockeye salmons because they were on sale and Costco has pretty much been the place that we're now going to stock up on protein and like main dish things. So we got salmon, these chicken breast chunks. I haven't tried these but I did try the other lightly breaded ones that were not Kirkland Signature and the worker told us to never buy those again and to buy these because they're four dollars cheaper. You get the same amount of meat and it's literally the exact same thing. It's just Costco brand. And then we got some broccoli florets. These are awesome because you can just steam the bags separately in the microwave or you can just throw them in the air fryer like we do. We also got some salmon burgers. That's just like a quick little lunch or dinner and some buffalo boneless chicken bites. We also got some of these pizza singles because we like to have frozen pizza sometimes for like an easy dinner but this is nice because it'll be like a nice little serving size. Some more cream cheese. These are also from Walmart actually and we got these for my party as well as these. I love me some hot Cheetos. And then from Costco, this cheese is literally the best. Tillamook cheese made in Oregon. Trust me, if you're ever in Oregon, you need to try this cheese. I'm sure they sell it elsewhere. We got some turkey breast, some margarita cocktail for game night. We also got these Celsius from Costco. Like again, we just pretty much go there for anything we need to stock up on. This should last us probably the whole month or at least a couple of weeks before we have to stock up again. And then also got this from Walmart. So now going into Walmart things. Pretty much got a bunch of chips for game night. And then we got these little containers to make some vodka jello shots. We got some 2% milk and we also got some coffee creamer, some shot glasses, a couple of jarritos, the tamarindo flavor and the passion fruit flavor. Super good. We also got some napkins just to have for game night and for guests when they come over. And then these are the jello flavors that I got for the jello shots. The berry blue and the strawberry flavor. Also got some forks. Oh, and exciting. Got a couple new games. So this is five second rule uncensored. I just thought 
It sounded fun. We love to play like adult games during game night. So we also got a new game to add called Spin the Dare. It's like a drink or dare game. So even though some of the dares might be a little, you know, a little extra for us, well, all you have to do is drink <laughs> instead of doing the dare. And then we got another jello because I don't really know how much jello I'm going to need for these. So yeah, that's everything we got from Costco and from Walmart. Oh, actually, I forgot, but we also got this welcome mat for the front door from Walmart because it was like cheaper than the Costco one. Oregon is super wet and rainy, and especially right now with like all the ice. We just knew that we needed one. Oh, and we also got toilet paper and paper towels from Costco. So everything that you see here that we bought, Costco costs like $330, and then everything from Walmart was like $100, so it was like $400. But we did buy some things that I wouldn't usually buy, so it probably would have been closer to like just $300 total for about two to three weeks of like protein and stocking up and even longer than that because you know the toilet paper or paper towels will probably last us for like three months. So let's put everything away. We have laminate floors, so they're just like a little bit tricky. And I had to learn myself watching a bunch of TikToks. We're kind of like walking through it together. So for mopping laminate floors, I have this Murphy concentrated wood cleaner. And this is what I've used the last three times. And it leaves like a nice little citronella oil scent, which is also supposed to help repel bugs, which I feel like it's kind of worked except recently, since maybe because it's been like over a month since the last time I mopped. We've found a couple of stink bugs in the house and it sucks because there's a bunch of them outside so we're hoping that this will repel them a little bit in the o-cedar bucket we just add hot water and then half a cap we're gonna do like almost a full cap of this this time and i've seen tiktoks that said that you could also use like a pinch or whatever of dish soap but we're not gonna do that because i just don't want to risk it because laminate floors are so tricky so just a cap full of this and then we added the hot water and then we're just gonna fill it up with water So the reason that mopping laminate floors is a little bit trickier is because you want to dip it in and get it nice and soaked inside of like the solution and wring it at least like 12 to 14 times so that it's almost dry. So now it's like a little bit damp which is perfect and when you mop you want to mop with the grain, follow the grain of the wood. So you want to get in the like very corner so you don't miss any spots. Because it's not super wet, you want to try to get it like several times. Otherwise, you might not fully cover it. David just finished mopping up here and he's mopping downstairs now. So this is a perfect time for me to start doing some meal prep. I think I'm just going to put some rice to make in my rice cooker, which I love so much because my friend got it for me for a housewarming. It honestly makes the best rice. It was on my housewarming gift registry, so I'll make sure to link it down below. Truly, it's such a good price for such a good rice cooker. And then I'm also going to put some salmon in the air fryer, and then later on, I'll just be able to put them in some Tupperware, and David and I will have a couple of meals in addition to the factor meals, because like I mentioned before, I think in this vlog, we've been eating factor, and we buy enough so that we could have one factor per day. 
so that it can replace either a lunch or a dinner just to save us some time. And then if I'm, I'm going to try to meal prep as well in addition to that to kind of make up for the other meals since breakfast, either David or I will always make breakfast before work. Usually David makes breakfast before work since he starts a little bit later than I do and he wakes up earlier than I do and his eggs are honestly the best. But anyway, let's get to meal prepping. Pro tip, if you're making rice, I usually wash it a couple of times and I dump the water, but if you want to have a little rice water to spritz on your face and add some like skin protection and hydration and just like all the benefits of rice water, either for your face or your scalp, then after rinsing your water, I usually rinse it a couple of times before I save the rice water. Cause I'm sure there's a lot of like chemicals and things like that in the rice. So the third time is when I actually collect the rice water in a bottle and I put it in a mist spray. It's like a continuous mist spray bottle that I got from Amazon. And it's truly the best every morning it wakes me up, I spritz it on my face, and there's like known benefits for your skin. I already use like the rice water sunblock on my face and it's honestly the best. So I just figured adding this is so easy because I'm making rice anyway. I made like a bunch last time, so I had filled this and then I had also filled another bottle and it was just too much. This time I'm just gonna fill this spray bottle. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gonna be such a mess. This is what I will say, as you can see. It's a little bit milky, which is like the perfect consistency. So I essentially use this as like, you could use this as a toner or an essence. Also, um, I never measure the amount of rice that I use or the amount of water. I pretty much just put in my hands. When I press down, I just make sure that the water reaches my knuckles and that's usually the perfect amount of water for me. And I get the perfect consistency in my rice. So that is on. so many things done today and it was really fun bringing you guys along with me if you want to see more Sunday resets or if you enjoyed this one I hope you did make sure to like comment and subscribe because it really helps support my channel but with all that said I love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video Bye.